Yo, what's up? It's Detro Mighty back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down uh, one of my songs from my new run project, which you should go stream, by the way, called Old Feelings. Old Feelings. I'm going to be breaking down, you know, the arrangement, some of the sounds, do some lyrical background shits with it. And um, yeah, also special announcement at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way through to the end of the video to catch that announcement especially my producers you should probably stick around all right yeah um old feelings it's the fifth song in the project uh, rightly so because i named it the fifth um yeah let's get into it now uh this song is about it's kind of about me in a sense like i was uh i was in a relationship back in january and that's when it like ended and you know this is kind of like the old feelings that i had at like the peak of the breakup she broke up with me by the way uh, <laughs> but uh yeah the song's pretty much about like that you know like the first half you know like i said peak breakup was like yo fuck you you did me dirty da 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 da, -da. and you know i never spoke like bad on her because you know she didn't really do anything wrong <laughs> like she didn't cheat on me or anything she just broke up with me but uh that's how it was like i was like yo fuck you for that i'm in pain and it's your fault it's like the first half of the song and the second half of the song is like wait hold up wait a minute you're not 100 percent clean too so it's like uh you know so um the first part of the song is like yo fuck you and the second part is like yo i get it because it was just a merging of two lost souls at the end of the day and of course it wasn't gonna work out anyway like i was saying yeah so you know it's a breakup song that's not a breakup song it's like post breakup old feelings you know i obviously don't feel this way anymore because it happened damn near a year ago so it was i still feel like i had to let it out in some way so that's like what the song is about pretty much now the idea for this song like the way it, like it sounds and stuff i remember i was just i was playing my guitar right and i was just playing these chords right here I was playing those and i was thinking like there hasn't been the songs previously it pretty much just starts like right away like headbanger type shit so it was like oh wow i wanted to make like a different song like a like a song like just arranged differently just it had a whole different vibe from the rest and i want to say this pretty much has a almost not a completely different vibe but arrangement wise sound wise you know even lyrically to a certain extent it was just it was different it was a little different so i wanted like it to be like a big build up a big raw emotional build up to the uh to the hook and that's what happened so yeah i really wanted to do the palm mute nice and slow and i had that on like a regular like guitar type deal and i uh you know of course i did the panning let's pan to the left and to the right and then i just slowly after four bars four eight i think it was eight yeah after eight bars i would i would just add you know layers it was like you can see on the screen it's like a big freaking reverse upside down stare of the amount of sounds i was adding so yeah and then at the uh the bridge basically right before that's when it starts to pick up and shit so it'll be like this so that that transition whenever i did it and i listened back to it i was like holy shit what the fuck this is kind of hard and then the lead the -na 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 -na, that added like a lot more energy so i switched the preset for like the guitar from this soft just regular type deal to this crunchy distorted vibe i think this preset was a lot more crunchier than the other songs too second like soft melody like so it was basically this combination of like soft and hard pause and that came out like it was like this so like those soft melodies really added like this melancholy-esque emotion to it and then, you know it just it just uh elevated the vibe more in that direction it kept the ball rolling so it was a snowball effect and then i added the fucking uh this thing right here bruh 
like one of the most metal things I've ever done. <laughs> no cap. I was listening to this without it, like just a plain like. And I was playing to it to find like a melody like that. Like, yo, I need to add more energy to this to make it more like tense and you know get more anxious for that drop because it's like whoa it's pretty much from the first half to that that part it was like a complete almost a complete vibe change almost not even a vibe change it was just like the vibes were here then it just gotta make sure i look good for the camera with that melody i recorded it and it sounded like this definitely need a new device because the way it pops is really shit i hate that anywho yeah like so whenever i put it in it was like and it was just like really really intense and it was like yo what i was like what and I remember I was showing some homies the song and I was playing it off my phone But I was showing them the song and they were like, okay, okay, bet and that happened. It was like, whoa holy Shit, they were taking they were taken aback and they were like, yo, this is fucking It was some raw shit, you know, pretty much everybody that's listened to the project This has been their favorite song because of like how raw and how almost like just heavy that it was very emo the most emo song i have on here for sure it's about a breakup and shit so of course so yeah i added that so then i added one more melody on top of it for like the final bit and this is when i added the bass and the drums and that sounded like this <laughs> That's when like, you know, for the chords, I start less of the palm, you start opening it up and then go like, nah, 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 nah. and then it's just like, boom. And then that top melody is like, it just adds on top of the freaking, the main one. Like it really adds to that suspense and that, and it really adds to like the build. So that was really cool. And then yeah, with the chords, it opens up now for the the main chorus, the main hook. Two, I record like I said, I record the guitars usually three times to really envelop the listener. And for two of these, like this is a 182 BPM, right? I don't have a pick. So it's 182. For the first two, I tried playing just instead of like up and down, I was trying to play straight down. So I was like trying to record that and i was able to do it twice but i'm just like dog <laughs> it was so difficult that was probably that took the longest from here the drop is like and yeah that's that and you know it sounds pretty empty but combined with the vocals it, it, it like all of this combined with the vocals it just really added to this hurt vibe just completely just like feeling of being fucked over because at the peak you know the beginning of the song i feel like i've been completely fucked over 100 percent i wasn't the problem at all i didn't do anything wrong it was all her da, 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 da. that's how i was feeling those were those feelings and you know that was the peak and then towards the second half of the song it completely drops back down to that soft boom and that's when it's like whoa let me reevaluate these feelings aren't completely i don't want to say true because they were true in the sense like i was true in the sense that i was feeling them but like they were coming from a place of just irrationality because nothing is ever 100 percent. i was obviously i was part of the problem as well so and like i said she didn't do anything wrong she just broke up that pissed me off <laughs> yeah so with the vocals um i'll play because just because of how rotten the cpu thing makes my shit and whatever i'm gonna play this part and then i'll skip to like the hook and stuff so with the vocals it's like oh hey it's been a while since i've seen you uh, maybe i can play it all the way through oh hey there's no Back to you, what you put me through. You were something new, but 
It's the drums. I got it. I got it. Ups and downs. All over town. Why were we so stupid? But yeah, that's like, that's, was I peeking? I don't know. Nah, I wasn't. But yeah, that was like the first half of the song. It was right there. And then the second half of the hook, it switches up and it, and it turns into some, it turns into some headbanger shit. Check it. It goes from straight up and down. Words you say just meant that you were dead. Just meant that you were dead. Just meant that you were dead. And, pfft, when I made this part, I was like, yo, I'm a fucking genius. Like, the pretty much, like, it's basically two hooks because it's, like, it's uh, 32 bars, I want to say, because, like, a regular hook is 16. Yeah, so I knew, like, I couldn't have it go straight in because I was freestyling the hook at first. That's how I got the hook, you know, off the dome. And I continued, just meant that you were dead. And I wanted that to repeat, so I knew that I wouldn't be able to, I didn't want, I wouldn't be able to, you know, use the same up and down pattern because it would get boring. And then the drums switch up too. So I just, psh, 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 you know, just straight up and down, real headbanger shit. And then because I did that, which elevated the, the, uh, the vibes even more, that drop back down to that soft melancholy really hit it was just like um, you know like coming back down from a high really hard but in a soft coming down really fast really hard but landing super soft yeah i don't do drugs that's just the best way i could describe it and then we go back into you know and then as soon as it drops i hit him with that that fucking hold up i hit him with that just meant that you were me Hit him with that me. And that's the show's a transition to me. Like, yo, this is what I did wrong ish. I wouldn't, I didn't even say I did anything wrong. I was just like, yo, I literally said I did the same thing. We literally both did the same thing to each other. I can't be mad at all. And the outcome was very prosperous for the both of us. Yeah, so I can have the song. It's more like a recap, an evaluation of myself. And like, A, I understand why because I was, you know, doing the same thing. We're doing the same thing. I'm not gonna go too much in depth, but yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The second half, because of how comple complex the song was, the I literally copied and pasted the first half as the second half. So the only thing that's different is the lyrics. <laughs> Even the last hook, like, I don't know if you guys caught it, but the first hook, I'm like, ups and downs all over town. Why were we so stupid? My heart, you played, you did. And then in the second half, instead of my heart, you played, you did, it's your heart, I played, I did. Circling around, I did the same thing to you, in the sense. It basically became, at a certain point in our relationship, it basically came down to who was gonna break up with who first. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's honestly it. Like I said, I copied and pasted the first half and put it in the second. I didn't add anything new. I didn't even change the arrangement. I just changed the lyrics. So everything I said in the first half, it's in the second half. I just changed the lyrics. Old Feelings, the fifth song in Run, go stream it. It's very, very lit. If you want to be in middle school again, listen to it and you'll go back there. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, wait, I can't hear myself without these. Anywho, uh, now for the announcement. The reason why I did a video on Old Feelings was because uh, I took to Instagram and I typed which song was y'all's favorite. And it was super, super close between this song and Favorite Girl. Favorite Girl's my my, uh, my favorite song personally. But it's pretty close between these, but I think this one was the most uh, loved. Like people like this the most. And I'm like, all right, bet. So I decided this is gonna be my next breakdown video, but I am also hosting a remix competition for this song, for this song. So um, this is gonna be up on Friday at seven o'clock. So from Friday, you're gonna have one week. I'm gonna put the acapella down in the description. You can download it. Producers out there, make whatever you want to it and you get one week to remix the song. And then the following week on that Friday, I'm going to live stream, live stream. I'm gonna go on live on Instagram and I'll see if I could get some friends to listen with me. I don't have a lot of friends, so that might not happen. It might just be me, but uh, I'm gonna listen to all of the submissions on live. 
depending on how many they are. But I mean, uh, you know, I'll probably have like 10, 15. Not, not, ooh, no, I'm probably not even probably like, I don't know. I don't know how many I'll have, but I'll uh, go on live on Instagram and listen to all of them on live. I'll probably have some people with me to listen with me. And yeah, uh, submit at your discretion. You can send it to this email right here, popping up on the screen. I'm going to be harsh. If it's trash, if I think it's trash, I'm gonna let you know, you know, nothing personal. If I think it's trash, I'm gonna let you know. The prizes, first place is gonna get a free Colt t-shirt signed by me. It's gonna get a free t-shirt. Their remix is gonna go up on my YouTube and it's gonna go on the Colt SoundCloud, boom. Second place gets no shirt. Second place just gets put on YouTube and then the SoundCloud and then third place just gets put on the SoundCloud. So um, yeah, all of my producers, you know, you wanna fucking show, show off, do your thing, go ahead, download the acapella, email it to this email on the screen. Once you're done, you get one week. This is going up Friday on the 2nd. You get to the 9th of October. 9th of October, I'm gonna go on live on Instagram and I'm gonna listen to all of them. And I'll also make a YouTube video, like, so I'll have, like, my phone's gonna be, like, right here and I'll have the camera right here and I'll record that too. Fun shit. Um, and since this was the most favorite, uh, this was, like, the most liked song, I'm also gonna make a music video for this song. Actually, now. Like there's been like like I was gonna make a song to in my head and stuff like I was teasing some stuff but I'm gonna actually make a song a music video for this song and that's the competition you get one week I wish all of you luck it's been Detro if you like this video like it subscribe share it with your friends um, if you like my music share that with your friends go stream run out on all streaming pro uh, platforms it's about to hit. 3,000 streams on Spotify. So, all right, we're sitting at 2,500. It needs 500 more. So if you don't get it to 3K, I'm going to delete all of my music. <laughs> it's been Dutch Mighty. Ciao.